The struggle for speeds and then the threat of bad weather. Really, by close of business last night, things looked reasonably safe, didn't they? Well, yeah, with the weather today, it looked like it was going to be raining and be in the field. So it looked pretty good today, but next year. Well, it's not over yet, but it's definitely 11.59 p.m. It's not over till it's over, but it could be over for Scott. There's old Johnny Parsons. Oh, it, whoa, 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 whoa! He's hitting the wall. J.P. And he keeps it away from uh, contact with the wall once again, but he has damaged the right side of that car, and so Johnny Parsons' attempt to get the car up to qualifying speed is over. Johnny Parsons has bumped the wall, and there you can see that A.J. has just been told the news, and he can't be a very happy person at this time. He will have some words to say to poor Johnny there. Johnny just tried to go too fast too soon. He was, looked like he was going very fast. And he got a little bit wide. And of course, you get onto the gray uh, where there's all the rolled up rubber and dust and oil dry that Mario Andretti had trouble with during his qualifying run and uh, hit the wall. <laughs> well, that car has given A.J. Foyt a problem, too, in the laps that Foyt has put on it. Here it is once again, and the rear end just got out from under him, David. The rear end got away. He got it back, but unfortunately, he had missed the apex then and was too far up and gave the wall a pretty good clout. And, of course, that's one of those things with these wing cars. They're so susceptible to a little bit of change that you really need to just play yourself in a bit.